So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every single Friday. In today's DAX Fridays, we are going to talk about how DAX functions are created. Some of them, some of them. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is something called syntax sugar for DAX. For those of you that do not know what it is, it's basically when in this case, the Power BI team or the DAX team actually writes the formula and then gives it a name, wraps it in a name, so it's easier for us to use. Let me give you an example. For example, first date, I'm sure that you've used it one time or two. So you just write first date, you put a date column and then you're done. Well, first date is actually written like this, min x, date stable, date key. Did you know that? Well, some of these you can actually rewrite yourself if you want to in that. Some of you, some of those you can't, I'll show you, I'll show you. But I think it's quite interesting to see how they are written, especially because sometimes you can actually, when you can write them in, in DAX, without the syntax sugar, you can modify them easier. And it gives you also ideas of how, you know, you can write things. So this is, for example, first date. You have last date. Can you guess how last date is written? Max X, obviously. I have, for example, first non-blank. I find this is very, very interesting. That is, it uses top one filter and then a column table and then non is blank expression. Now, top one, you're probably wondering, like, what is that? Well, they use internal DAX functions that we do not have access to. Why? I, I don't know. Maybe they are not so effective or so easy to use. I have no idea. But for example, you wouldn't be able to write this this way because top one doesn't work. First non-blank, last non-blank, bottom one. <laughs> Who knew? Cool, eh? So there are a few things that you need to be aware of when working with uh, syntax sugar. Let me show you first and we discuss it afterwards. So, for example, we have here first non-blank column and expression. I'm sure that you've used this quite a few times. This is quite a tricky, <laughs> a tricky function. Anyhow, this is written, if you write it, a, a, the, the DAX measure, the DAX function like this, or like this, you will get different results. You might think that the expression, this expression has already calculate built on it, but it doesn't. So, depending on how you write it, if you put sum or calculate sum, you'll get different results. And by default, this does not include calculate in it, um, which is good to know in advance, but if you don't know, you're going to see it. You're going to see that you are not getting the results that you want, that something is not getting filtered, so you need to put calculate in there. But still, because they are, you know, but doing syntax sugar, you actually don't know how this thing is created. And that happens more than once. Let's look at some other functions. We have, for example, dates quoted to date. And this is how it's written, dates between and then dates. And this is, for example, one of, one of the examples where you can actually reuse these and then you can twinkle to, to go back and forth from that quarter as you like. Uh, and then you have, yeah, month to date is the same by start of month and year to date is this almost the same but start to year so i think it's quite interesting to see how they actually written those things and then if we go to total quarter to date then you'll see almost the same thing right so here they are wrapping a function within a function so they are building the complexity so instead of having to write this massive 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 dax formula you see so start a quarter and then you have to build, instead of this, you have to put all this in there and you see, you, you write total quarter to date. You see the beauty of it? I, I can see it. I, I think it's fabulous, to be honest. I think it's very, very good. It just makes writing it very, very, very easy. So here we have another example, for example, opening balance quarter and closing balance quarter. You can see again how it's written. And if you have any 
doubts of which date is actually picking for your calculation, when you see the syntax sugar, you can actually see exactly what it's doing. And that's what I think it would be really, really nice again to have this syntax sugar, you know, the actual syntax sugar in the function documentation. Some of the functions do have that, but not all of them. Okay, so yeah, that I find it very interesting. More examples, previous date, is first day date add next day, last day, and you've asked this before, same period last year is created with date add. So it is the exact same thing, but it just, yeah, it was one of the questions of the Power BI exam, actually. I think, I think, I think it was <laughs> that, that, that we've been doing. Um, more, previous quarter, uh, you're going to get this Power BI file, by the way, so you can keep this. And if you know any more syntax sugar, let me know and we can update this together. So here we have previous quarter, month, year, and then you can see start of year, and then you use date add and dates in period. So once you see how this is done, you can modify it to do something similar, but not exactly the same. And the same with next quarter, next month, this year. Okay? So, uh, super cool. Now, the last ones, and I won't bother you anymore with this. This dates between, you can see how it is written. You will see dates range that is not available for us. You won't be able to write this in the DAX formula. Earlier, it looks like earlier, smells like earlier, but it's not earlier. So this won't work. And then the same for dates in period. Okay, so instead of writing that stuff, we just write dates in period and then we're good to go. So I wish, actually, another wish, you know, we have this quick DAX measures library, which I don't particularly like, because you get the impression that you can actually write DAX without knowing DAX. It is an illusion. It's like when I came to Sweden, I thought I could live in Sweden without knowing Swedish. No, you can get around, but it won't help you in the long run. You need to learn DAX. So I wish that instead of putting time in those quick DAX calculations, they would do more syntax sugar and document it because it will make our lives easier. Now there are a lot of solutions that are in there in the quick thing library that nobody looks at. So how about you grab those and make syntax sugar and publish those as DAX functions? I think that would be a better idea. <laughs> 